I'm thinking of calling it the digitally inserted camera company. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? G'day, how you going? So today I'm going to build my own camera. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try and put it inside an old retro film camera. So the things that you'll need, obviously, is any Raspberry Pi from about 3B onwards. Raspberry Pi 3, Raspberry Pi 4, and now there's a new one, Raspberry Pi 5. And the next thing you'll need is a little camera. So you can get different types of cameras. This one in particular is the high quality camera. And that you attach it there, you attach it there, and it's good to go. You'll need a CCTV lens you know those little cctv lenses that you can get aperture manual focus this one's a 25 millimeter then you'll need some sort of interface so i bought a little lcd screen that's three and a half inch it's from wave share of course what you need is power <laughs> so this little battery here it's uh, from Pie Sugar. <laughs> I don't know all these funny names. Pie Banana, Pie Sugar, Pie Strawberry, Raspberry, Blackberry. I don't know what the hell. Normally, batteries go onto these um, pins here. Uh, but this one's really good, the Pie Sugar. It goes onto the back of the pins and it clips on. Holger. No. <laughs> I had a look and it's just too small and it would mean cutting the shit out of it and i really love my holger i don't want to get rid of it <laughs> i don't want to ruin it i tried this instead <laughs> this is my dad's old um polaroid from the 70s now it's a shame to ruin this as well but <laughs> you can't find the film for it anymore um i don't even think it works yeah but that's perfect because look at the size of it this will fit this will fit anything. <laughs> I mean, ideally, you want to, you know, set up a, a shutter button release, but that would mean um, figuring out how to connect, you know, wires here and setting up. I don't know. This is a no soldering project, <laughs> non technical, just bung all the bits and pieces together and hope for the best. If you notice, even in the old classic um, EM1, all the cameras really, so you just have to touch the photo and it takes a photo. So that's the concept that I'm thinking of doing. So the first thing you'll need is to get the OS onto a um, memory card. So you need the Raspberry Pi original operating system and any size will do. Jerry, are you come to help? Jerry's come to help. She's my technical advisor. Jerry, what do you think? Should we get onto the computer now and set up the Raspberry Pi? <laughs> you cheeky girl, Jerry. So the first thing is to get your little SD card, put it in an SD card reader like I've got here and once you've fired it up so head over to raspberrypi.com go to the software and download the imager for Windows so put in your SD card into the computer fire up choose Raspberry Pi 4 operating system 64-bit choose the storage go next now you can edit settings before you install it, just to help it along. Set host is raspberrypi.local. Set a username, choose whatever you want, pick a password, make it easy. Configure your wireless um, Wi-Fi. Do you want to apply customs? Yes, I've done that. All existing data, so just be careful. <laughs> you don't want to wipe out your entire C drive. And now this is going to prepare to write uh, you need to format the disk, okay, format it. Uh, you don't have sufficient rights to perform this operation. That's typical. It's just one problem after another, for f**k's sakes. I, I don't know what the hell happened there, but you just cancel, 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 and still bloody writing. 
This is why I hate computers. <laughs> They're so unpredictable. Okay, so now that's good to go. You can actually put that now inside your Raspberry Pi, the SD card, and boot up. But, but just before we do that, what the idea of what we're trying to do is we're trying to get that LCD screen to also work as well. The one that I bought was from Waveshare, and that actually has some instructions on what to do. Copy this, and we need to go to the root of that SD card, is the config.txt, so open that up. And just at the bottom here, just paste it. And now we need to boot up the Raspberry Pi. So let's take out the SD card and chuck it into the Raspberry Pi. And it's that little slot there. So I don't know which way it bloody goes, but... No, 50-50. It's like when you, when toast drops on the floor, it always lands butter side down. Uh, a keyboard, mouse, Ethernet if you want, it's got Wi-Fi anyway, and a monitor there with a HDMI mini to your monitor, or you can go headless. I'm going to do it headless just to, so I can record what I'm doing. Alright, going headless is painful to try and record it, it's so slow, I can't really. So I'm just going to do it on my normal computer. As you can see, I've uh, just hooked up a USB power, uh, the monitor there, and but a keyboard and mouse. So, and I'm gonna do it through Wi-Fi. Jerry, what are you doing? Are you listening? Hmm? Have I lost you already? <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> the first thing you gotta do is update the operating system. It's just to update everything. So you've got, there's up on the right hand corner there. Jerry. What are you doing, Jerry? What are you doing? So open up our terminal. We need to get the calibrator. So copy that, right click, paste. Okay, that's done. Now we need to rename that file, copy and paste this. Like I said, it's all cop cut and paste. I'm, not, I'm no programmer. It's all cut and paste. So rename that, that's fine. And now we want to edit using the nano program this 99 calibration conf file paste that <clears throat> enter copy that uh, right click paste control x and if you want just to check it you do cat and there it is it's all there so that's now should be ready to go to set up the camera we need to attach the ribbon to the Raspberry Pi and to the camera. They come with these little slots here. You can just lift them up. It's handy to have fingernails. Like that. There. So they come down and like that. Now the blue has to face this, these USBs. So you chuck it in there like that and then you push down there and now this one the blue faces up there like that now while we're at it just to keep the sensor because I know everyone's been looking at me going my god you've left the sensor exposed <laughs> <laughs> it's called sensor anxiety I shouldn't acronym it should be an acronym for it Open Sensor Anxi Anxiety OS OSA and it just screws on to the front of the sensor like that. <laughs> it looks like a Dalek. <clears throat> so this is the, the the genesis of the Daleks. Alright Jerry, so what you gotta do now is we need to go and test out the camera and put up and create some icons for the shutter button, the focus and the video. Hmm? I've lost you already, Jerry. <laughs> this is like about 50% of everyone's watching this has fallen asleep, Jerry. Oh, Jerry! Okay, so we've booted up again after we've done that and we've attached the camera and the lens and everything and open up a terminal session just to test it out is lib camera dash hello. 
And there you go. There's Jerry. Oi! <laughs> Jerry! I <laughs> see that again. Lip camera. Hey, Jerry. Hmm? You on the TV again, Jerry? Yes, I know you're sleepy. The next command you want to try is just to test it out, just the focus. Just do lib camera dash T zero for how many seconds? Zero is unlimited seconds. All right, so now I can change the aperture, I can change the focus. Now, if we want to take a photo, it's lib camera dash jpeg dash o dash jerry dot jpg I just made that sound with my mouth because it's a silent shutter <laughs> there's no shutter curtain it's all silent where the hell did it go it went into the home directory there Rob there it is jerry dot jpeg <laughs> I didn't realize she looked up and also if you want to do video it's there's another command lib camera dash vid dash t 10,000 is 10 seconds dash o and jerry dot h264 so 10 seconds of jerry jerry Mm, you're on camera, Jerry. Look. Do 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 do. Scratch him. And that's it. So there's three commands there I can use to utilize in a batch script. Um, so when I touch the screen, because this remember this is all on an LCD screen now, which I'll show you in a second. I'll just uh, focus. Give me like about ten seconds to focus. Take a picture, give me five seconds, take a picture, and then video. So now we need to set up the icons, the shortcuts to actually take photos. So I've done one already called Focus. Go to File Manager, and I've put everything in templates. I've created a file called focus.sh. So if we go to edit that, it's a shell script, so we need slash bin, you need the shebang thing at the front. And then just a simple command of lib camera dash hello dash f for full screen and dash t and the seconds that you want the actual screen to show so you can get um, in focus. I, I did 10,000, which is 10 seconds. So just save that. I want to create a shortcut for that. So what I did, I went onto the desktop and I created a, another file. And this one I just called focus. And if you edit that one, you need to put this desktop entry, type application, the name focus. That's just the name of the file uh, that shows on the desktop. Terminal false and then execute slash home slash your username slash templates slash focus dot sh so this is where the script lives so this is the shortcut um, and the sh and it's going to shortcut to the executable shell script of focus dot sh and then i just put an icon there just for the hell of it i put these icons here i just downloaded them there's this one here is just a a little focus thing one hot tip is to right click properties and go to permissions on the actual script and just put anyone because i was running into problems with bloody privileges and shit so i just did anyone 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 and same again with the actual shortcut and i'll show you how that works now get rid of that now Ideally, this is going to be on my little 3.5 inch screen, so I just want to touch it once. The way to have one click or one press with the finger and fire off that script is you go back into your explorer here, you edit, preferences, and here open file with one click, select that, and also this one, don't ask 
options on launch executable file. So piss that off as well, because every time you click it, it says, hey, this is an executable. Do you really want to run it? Of course I want to run it. I want to take the bloody photo. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just going to turn that off for now. I'll do that right at the end. All right, let's do one for taking a photo. I'm going to go back into templates, do new file, and we'll call this photo.sh. SH is a shell script. Now we want to edit this. You need the command, the shebang command at the start. The best way is lib camera still. That's another command here. Camera dash still dash dash help. And it'll just tell you all the commands. Now what I'm looking for is this one here. It's called date time. Now what that does, it'll when it saves the file, it'll save it as a date time, each file. Each time you press the shutter button, well, <laughs> well not the shutter button, each time you press the photo icon, it'll take a shot and it'll save it as a date time JPEG. So it's going to be um, lib camera dash still dash F for full screen date time. And I think that's all you really need to do. Okay, so save that. So I'm going to get my shortcut script onto the desktop. New file. I'm going to call this one photo. I'm going to paste that. So that's desktop entry application. I'm going to call the name of it photo. The actual script is photo.sh. And the icon is, what icon did I choose? It's called camera.png. Camera.png. So save that. And there it is over here. Focus is shortcutted to the focus script. Photo is, is shortcutted to the photo script. And they both got their own individual icons. Now let's test out this script. Yes, I know you want to go for a walk, but it's 10 o'clock at night, Jerry. I've been at this all bloody day. All right, so that's done. Now let's test the photo. Bada bing, bada boom. It does five seconds and done, takes the photo. Okay, put the photo in Rob DI folder. So you can actually change that. I forgot to do that. Um, the way to do that is the dash o where it's slash home slash r rob di slash capital desktop quickly you got five seconds jerry photo done and there it is it saved it to my desktop there so what i can do now is i can drag that with my finger to the trash bin all right, now we need to attach the screen. The screen comes with HDMI, but the Raspberry Pi 4 has a HDMI mini, so you, it comes with this little adapter. Just marry the pins to the pins from there to there, just like a, like a square, so, and there. Just like a sandwich. Good old Sanger. Now you need to attach the actual HDMI to the HDMI, bing bong, and click. Before I attach the power supply, let's just set up and we need to calibrate the monitor. Come on, come on, please work, oh yeah, booting up. Go, go Raspberry Pi. And we have contact. There's the mouse. Houston, we have a go. Tranquility base. The Raspberry Pi has landed. And there you go. You've got your video photo focus. But the first thing you want to do now is you want to calibrate it. And I can't get it there. Preferences. And can you see that? And calibrate touch. 
now you touch where you, where you want it where it says the little X's there 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 so calibrate bada bing bada boom bada bum bum if I go there focus it should start up and there's Jerry <laughs> it's Jerry it works <laughs> yes it works <laughs> Jerry, it works, Jerry. All right. <laughs> oh, we got to wait now. I put twenty seconds. Now, not you wait, Jerry. The camera focus has to wait. All right. So I could probably change that, but twenty seconds is good. And then you do photo, one click. It goes there, Jerry. You want to go? Yes, Jerry. You want to go for a walk, Mama? <laughs> Jerry got him. I got him, Jerry. Now, if you want to look at it, there it is there. And there's Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. All right, that's good. And the video, the video, I won't drop by bubble with that. And there it is. So now, I've got to get it in there. How the hell am I going to get it in there? And then add the... The lens popping out of there. Jerry, how the hell am I going to do that? Are you going to help? Huh? Why are you too busy scratching? Here. Yeah. We'll go for a walk and then we'll and then we'll go into the lab and we'll get the tools and the bandsaw out. <laughs> All right, so now I've got to attach the battery. So this is a lithium battery by Pi Sugar. It's got a little magnet there little magnet there and it just clips on so clip the battery board has its own USB-C there so that will charge the battery okay now we'll leave that there uh, Jerry calm down yes I know you get scared Jerry you gonna help yeah, look, so I've taken that out, so I've got enough room in there, probably need to do some MacGyver. Hey Jerry, you've got to become MacGyver, I'll take this out, these are the rollers where the Polaroid film used to come out, and then get rid of this. Put the camera, the lens there. What do you think, Jerry? Somehow Dremel the shape of that LCD screen there, so I can. <laughs> Jerry, what the hell have I gotten myself into? Yes, I know it's crazy project. All right, Jerry, you gonna help? You gonna help me? Yeah. Jerry, this has turned into a complete disaster. Hmm? Why didn't you tell me this was going to turn out like this? <laughs> what the hell have I done? I could probably save that bit. I just hacked into it. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. Jerry! Why you? Why didn't you tell me? I have to get the Dremel and I have to start Dremeling again. Hey? Yes, you're going to come help now. Hmm? Jerry, check this out. What do you think, Jerry? I know, Jerry, no good. Hmm? Jerry. camera in the history of camera building. Ta-da! <laughs>
Uh, I've even shaved a little bit of the retro of the camera, but I really completely annihilated it. So this is my Land Cruiser, my Land camera from the 1970s. I've completely butchered it, gutted it, and I've put a Raspberry Pi camera in there, like that. So basically, the lens goes there with the sensor on the outside. It's got the battery and everything inside it. I put some foam around there, put some velvet, and then you just close it like that. Bang. <laughs> there's a few holes, but there's nothing like a bit of gaffer tape won't fix. And I've got homage to the old Land camera, Polaroid, and focus. Uh, there's no shutter button. Do, do, do. Cue the windows. So what you do is you, there's the viewfinder, which you don't use because it's absolutely useless, but you can use it if you want, just for nostalgia. I tried my finger and it doesn't work. So you need a stylus. So, <laughs> just, oh my God. Like this, I focus on Jerry. Yes, Jerry, what a beautiful girl you are. Hmm? On my new camera. Hmm? I've got another photo button there, icon. All right then, let's go for a photo walk. Jerry, we'll take the new camera out for a photo walk. The problem is the, the glare, you can't see if it's in focus or not. Focus, do the old filter frame. It's 25 millimeter. For some reason, film all my film photos with Jerry here have been perfect. Just really special. So let's do one of Jerry. Click. <laughs> That's a good one, Jerry. Jerry, look at look at me, Joya. Yes, Joya. <laughs> All right. Anyway, that's a bit of fun, Jerry. I don't think this camera will win any awards for engineering, but it's good for YouTube. Gary, that's it. What do you think? What do you think we should call it, Gary? Huh? I'm thinking of calling it um, the digitally inserted camera company. <laughs> what do you think, Gary? Huh? It kind of just rolls off the tongue. The digitally inserted camera company. That's enough shenanigans. I'll be back uh, next week. Uh, not I'm back. <laughs> like that guy who really created a camera insert. Anyway, um, thanks for watching. I'll uh, catch you on the next one. Gary, what can we do now? You want to do another project? Hmm? You want to make a Game Boy? Huh? We'll play Donkey Kong. Screen de hitotsu no game. Shita kara ue, ue kara shita e, marchi ni tenkai. Donkey Kong. Oil Panic. Screen ga 2 mai de, tanoshi sa 3 bai. Game Watch, marchi screen.